Hey, what's up, everybody? How's everybody doing? So today we have a 2002 Toyota Tundra, and we're having the issue where the key doesn't want to turn in the ignition lock cylinder anymore. Uh, it's not the key. Basically, what happens is that the pins wear down or the springs in here mess up. So when you try to turn it on anymore, it doesn't even turn anymore, okay? Uh, this is a really common problem with Siennas, 4Runners. Any old Toyota um, model vehicle has the same issue with the same ignition problem that doesn't want to turn anymore. So basically, I, I went to AutoZone. I got this. I got this ignition lock cylinder for like eighty-seven dollars, like eighty something bucks and some change. Okay, this is the right part number for it. So if you guys are looking for it, two thousand two Toyota Tundra LC six three zero one zero. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the bottom dash, the steering column bottom dash. We're gonna remove that, and that gives us enough space to go under there and drill it out through here. Okay. So there's a little button. Okay, now we gotta drill out because once it, it turns, once it doesn't turn anymore, um, we gotta drill it out. But if you can still turn, get it to turn to the ACZ position, we can press that pin and get it out. But if you can't get it to turn anymore, it's gonna be a pain in the butt and we're gonna have to drill it. So make sure that you have eye protection, some eyeglasses, because we're gonna be under there trying to drill this little, this little button out, okay? So it can come out. Okay, because like I said, it needs to be on the ACZ position in order to press this button and we can press it and get it out but like i said if it's not we're gonna have to drill it out with a drill okay so let's go let's get that started right now okay there's a couple of, couple of screws right here that we need to remove there's one right here there's one right here one right here and one down here okay so that's four in total okay so let's remove all those let's bring this cover let's bring this cover down okay so we can get to the to this okay so right here we have the the hood the hood latch right here okay so we need to move this to the side and then right here as you guys can see we need to take this little thing off okay it's real easy okay and then bamo So this comes down okay so just remember to remove the the hood the hood cable okay so we have to move this out the way so we can pull out the ignition so down here this is a little pin right here okay that you pull out okay and then we're able to move this back and put it to the side okay all right, so this is to the side. This is not a transponder, it's just a light. So just put that to the side, okay? So that we're able to pull this out, okay? Again, that's the hole where the, where the button is at that we need to press for this to come out, okay? Now this key needs to be an accessory for it to come out. As you guys can see, that's a little hole that we need to press up. We need to press this, this pin out so this ignition switch will come out, okay? If you don't have, if you don't have a key to open this to the accessory, you have to drill it. Drill it to that little hole right there, okay? We drill that little hole up until this is able to pop out, okay? Okay, so when you guys are drilling the hole, make sure that the drill is straight and not sideways. Okay, because you don't want to you don't want to drill over here or over there. You just want to get it right in the middle, center, and start drilling. Okay, start drilling. So as you guys are, are drilling, notice that this switch will start moving up and down. That's when it's ready. It's getting ready to come out. Okay. <laughs> so that's what we're drilling right there okay like i said this this pin only goes 
up when you have it in the ACC, I believe, if not the on position. Okay, and that's the that's the thing we're drilling. So there's a closer look, you guys. As you guys can see, this is the button that's supposed to go down when it's on the on or ACC position. When you guys are drilling these and you guys are under there, please wear some protective um, glasses, okay? Because that metal could go into your eyes and, and ruin your eyes pretty bad. So please use um, eye protection, okay, before you start doing this job. It's a really easy job, but it's a really delicate job too, you know? So just be really careful. When you guys are drilling in there, um, notice that the ignition is starting moving after a while. That means that you're doing a good job, okay? And it's gonna come out soon. So when it starts to move like that, just be aware that it's almost getting ready to come out, okay? Okay, so you have to be really careful when you're drilling it. Like I said, that you don't get it too much this way, too much that way. Because if you drill on the sides, the new ignition's not gonna stick inside. It's not gonna stay in there. It's not gonna hold it. Okay. And that's all there is to it. Now let's go get the new one and put in the new one. Alright you guys, so that's the correct part number right there. The ignition lock cylinder, lock smart LC3010. Okay. And it's a 759 with tax. So since we took out the ignition lock cylinder on the lock position, we go we have to go ahead and adjust this thing in here to be on the ACC position. So we're gonna get some long needle nose, okay? And just turn it to the on, to the on ACC, okay? So that we can stick the new one and it could go in there, okay? Because like I said, if it's not on the ACC position, this is not gonna go in there, okay? So right there, the button is pressing down as you can see. So now we're gonna simply just slide it in. Okay. As you guys can see, it just went in perfect. Okay. So just adjust the back of it to make sure that it goes in with the little stick, okay? And now we'll just put everything back together. Put this on there. Okay, now we put our cover back. All right, so we put everything back together. All right, and there it is. All right, <laughs> so, all right, thank you. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this video and it helped you guys out, make sure you hit like and subscribe to my channel for more cool videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below or email me. Okay, take care. Closing time, turn off all the lights, we're going home. Yeah, guys, what an exhausting day. Man, oh man, oh man. This is where I work at, you guys, okay? Just a little inside, just like a little mall, if you guys are wondering. California, you guys, I'm in California, in the San Fernando Valley, okay? If you guys want to start like boosting up your your business, um, I recommend you guys go on Craigslist, make some Craigslist ads, go on OfferUp, put some ads on OfferUp, make a make a Yelp business account, okay, for your for your Yelp for Google, that will get you a lot of clientele. You guys do that, okay? Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. I'm gonna keep making really good videos for all you guys. You know. So that you guys can learn this. Like I said, the reason that I make these videos is because I once didn't know nothing. And pretty much YouTube doesn't give a lot of information out. But I like to I like to make my videos with a lot of information so that that you know you guys are most informed with my channel and, and you guys love my videos and, and I appreciate you guys because I know that you guys always tell me that my videos are really good. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys are the best. You guys don't know how much.
guys to my channel hitting those likes subscribing thank you guys so much you guys are the best i will continue to make really good videos if you guys have any recommendations of what type of videos you guys want me to make leave it in the comment section below or any good ideas any other thing i'm always there to help you guys email me at lilrox001 at yahoo.com good night you guys and have a happy weekend